Hello everybody, welcome to another video. My name is Infinity and today I want to show you guys how to do the knitted basket weave stitch. So I'm going to be doing this tutorial assuming that you already know how to cast on stitches and how to knit and purl. So to begin with this pattern, what you're going to want to do is cast on in increments of 5 and then you're going to want to add 2 to the end so you have stitches for selvage. Then once you do your selvage stitch, what you're going to do is you are going to knit those five stitches, those first five stitches. Just try to zoom out just a little bit. And then, once you have knit your five stitches, what you want to do is bring your yarn forward and we're going to purl the next five. So insert your hook, I'm sorry, insert your needle from the front, or purl wise, and we're just going to purl those next five stitches. And now we're going to go back to knitting and we're just going to knit the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, and now we're going to go back to purling. So the basket weave stitch is basically another fun way to alternate knits and purls and it gives you this highly textured pattern and I have to say I'm really loving how this pattern works up in this sage color that I am working with today. Alright, three, four. And five, and I am going to be finishing off this row with knit stitches. So, if you guys were wondering, I cast on 25 and I added two, so for a total of 27. So, if you're interested in the width of my project, those were my measurements. All right, and now we're gonna knit five one, two. Three, four, and five. Alright, and then you can work your selvage stitches in any way you'd like. I knit mine by, de oops, by default. <laughs> on to our next row of our pattern. So to create this look, what you have to do is basically the opposite of what we just did. So we ended the last row in knits, and on this side you can see that those knits look like pearls. So what we're going to be doing is we are going to work our selvage stitch. And then we're going to bring our yarn forward and we're going to be purling the next five stitches. Two. Three. Four. And five. 
And likewise, we're going to move our yarn to the back now and we are going to knit the next five. For our last repetition, or for my last rep repetition, I will be purling five. stitch. It's really easy to get into a rhythm with this stitch. Alright. So now I am going to turn my work, my third row of this pattern. I'm going to do what I did for the first row, which was to work my selvage stitch then I am going to go back to working five knit stitches and five purl stitches and five knit stitches and so on and so on. And so for to make these little squares, I simply repeated alternating rows one and two for five rows. So I'll meet you guys back when I am ready to shift my pattern. All right, so like I said, this pattern consists of offsetting knits and purls. So that whole section we built up, um, we had, well actually it was on the other side, so let me get that straight. We started with knitting, then we did a bunch of purls, knitting, purls, knitting, and then when we'd flip the pattern, we'd do the opposite, and that would give us this um, alternative of stockinette stitch and garter stitch throughout our rows. So now that we're ready to move on to the next row and we flip this over, we can see that it looks like we should start off with purling. And if we were going to continue building up these squares or these sections of garter, I would be purling on this row. But since we're ready to switch back and start making that stockinette pattern, what we're going to do is end up knitting. So you're going to work that selvage stitch. Whichever way you'd like. I um, always knit mine. So I'm going to move my yarn to the back. And I'm going to knit that stitch. Alright. And so I'm going to knit the next five stitches instead of purling them. So there's one, two, Three, four, and five. All right, and now I'm gonna bring my yarn forward and we're gonna purl the next five. And now that I've done that, I can go back to knitting. And this is pretty good. And this is pretty much going to be your pattern for this row. You're just going to alternate doing your blocks of knitting and purling. So I'm going to do that and then I'll meet you guys back when I'm ready to move on to the next row of this pattern. Alright, now that I have finished this row, you will notice that 
above the sections where it looks like we've done garter stitch you'll notice the flatter pattern of the stockinette stitch and then above the part of the pattern where you see the stockinette stitch from the previous row or previous section rather you see this ridge where we purled so when you flip this pattern over again you're going to be doing the opposite of what you did on the other side so i'm going to knit my selvage stitch on this side i'm going to start off with purling so i'm bringing my yarn forward and i'm going to knit my five stitches And now I'm going to move my yarn back and we're going to knit those next five. Okay. And if you ever get lost on your pattern, like you get confused where you left off last, you can always flip it over and make sure that it looks right on the flip side. So for my flip side, um, my end of the front part of this pattern looks like stockinette. So by me making this knit pattern on the back side, it continues the pattern for that part. And then the part where it looks like I have all garter stitch or all pearls, um, or knits rather, then it looks the same on that side, so I know I'm doing it right on this side. And this pattern is reversible, so that's one of the tricky things, and that's why it's important to keep count. So if you need to use stitch markers to indicate which side is which, that is perfectly fine. Uh, I am going to finish off this, finish out this row. So we just got done knitting, so now we're going to move our yarn forward, and we're going to be purling. And I knit my selvage stitch. I get so in the mode of purling nowadays that I just want to knit. I'm sorry, I want to keep just purling to the end. But I always knit that last stitch. I promise. <laughs> Alright guys, so now I'm going to finish out the last three rows of this section. I'm back on the um, other side of my work. So now I'm going to be knitting my first five stitches. Then purling my next section, knitting my next session and then so on and so on until I reach the end. So you can pause the video here and I will meet you guys back when I am done with this swatch. All right guys, I've come to the end of this pattern. So if you continue to alternate, you know, your rows of knitting and purling, like we just went over, you will end up with this beautiful textured pattern. It is super simple and it looks great on items that you end up gifting just you know that season is upon us at the time of this upload so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if so don't forget to leave me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on awesome weekly content i usually post knitting tutorials on wednesdays at 9 30 a.m cst also, don't forget to check out my other social media. I am on pretty much everything except for Snapchat, so I got a little something out there for everybody. If you want to support the channel, don't forget to check out my blog. You can check out my Etsy or my Teespring, all of which are located in my description box below. And until next time, guys, happy making.